What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys know the deal, we are hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this G-Max Toxicity and Life Orb Flygon team. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you for everybody who has supported the channel, everyone who has subscribed, everyone who just likes the videos or just tunes in to watch. It goes a long way every single time. But this team right here really did catch my eye. We had the ability of minus on our Toxtricity and ability of plus with that Clean Clank right here. So when you get them both on the field, special attack will be boosted for both of them. So that is going to be huge for Toxtricity considering he can be a big special attacker. But on this team right here in the top left corner, we got Life Orb Flygon, which actually caught my eye. I'm a big Flygon fan. And this thing is Life Orb with Levitate and it's a ground Pokemon as well. So it cannot get hit by ground moves, which is awesome. Or electric moves, which is just, there's two for. That's a two for. That's a win-win right there. And he has a bunch of coverage moves with Giga Drain, Rock Slide, and then he has Draco Meteor and Earth Power for stab. We got G-Max Toxtricity over here with Protect, Stored Power in case we want to boost our stats and just go out. I'll get to that in a second when we go over with the Clink Clank. And we have Overdrive and Sludge Wave for stab moves. He also has the Air Balloon, so he cannot get one tap by any ground moves. We also got Incineroar, which is behind my face cam right now, with a little bit of a different moveset. It has a weakness policy, so if they trigger that, we can Dynamax him. So we have a bunch of different Dynamax options on the team. He has Darkest Lariat, Fake Out, obviously, because Fake Out's just awesome. Flare Blitz and Close Combat, rocking out with that Intimidate ability to lower physical attack. Then we got Clink Clank. Clink Clank right here is going to work so well with Toxtricity. Like I said, I already went over the abilities of minus and plus and what that does, and but it also has Magnetic Flux, and if what that move does is it boosts the defense and special defense of Pokemon with the minus and plus ability. So that's going to be huge to get that big defensive boost. And then we can also stack that up and go into some stored powers with Toxtricity. This thing also has Trick Room in case we want to roll in case they have a really fast team. Ally Switch to kind of protect other Pokemon such as Toxtricity or different ally Pokemon. And Flash Cannon as well. It also has that focus stash so it cannot be one tapped up. And we got the Milotic Competitive. Everyone knows about this one. With Recover, Coil, Ice Beam, Muddy Water. Set up the Coils. Try to trigger its competitive nature. You can roll out. You can Dynamite that as well like i said we have plenty of dynamax options for a team then in the final spot we got that one scout with that tailwind moon blast for big stab damage fake tears and where is he this team really did catch my eye so i'm actually so excited to use it just everything about it seems awesome because we got the flygon which is like off meta same thing with the cling clank and the toxicity so it's just something cool that we can use in this season guys if you want to use this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom screen and if you do use this team let me know in the comment section down below how you guys do with it but guys without further ado let's hop onto the rank ladder and try to get some wins with this team Match number one on its way. This guy has a Sandstorm team and a lot of Steel Pokemon. So that's kind of rough for my boy right here, Toxtricity. He can't really hit too much here, but it can work up against that uh, that Milotic. But that's about it. That's about it. My lead is probably going to be that Wimscop for sure. Try to set up that Tailwind and then maybe go into Incineroar. Actually, no, it's not going to Incineroar because he can trigger that competitive nature Milotic. So, nah. Yo, Incineroar not going out here. I think he's going to lead that Indeedee, maybe Duraludon and bring Sandstorm in the back. Or I think he might actually lead that competitive Milotic, so I actually might go Toxtricity here. I actually, let's do this. Do I go for this? Like, I, like, Toxtricity would be tough, but I can see him leading that. I can see him maybe going Indeedee into Milotic, something along those lines, but dude, that steel just eats me up all day. But I say we do that. I say we bring Clink Clank in the back, and then in the final spot, do we go Flygon? I could. I could go Flygon. Flygon could be absolutely really nice here. Let's do it. Let's go for it. This Flygon has all those coverage moves, and we'll roll out from here. Like, I really want to show off the Toxtricity and Clink Clank. Normally, I'd probably bring the Incineroar and the Milotic, but yeah, we're going to give this a try just in case he goes with the off off chance he goes with that Milotic as a lead and the Indeedee, then our team could actually work out, but we'll see. We'll see how we can actually roll out with it. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream a lot right now. Since the quarantine's been going on, we are home every single day, so we've just been streaming a lot. We've been streaming mostly every day, so definitely check that out. Turn on those notifications so you know when I go live. But let's go. He's going to lead Ndidi and Titar. Set the Sandstorm. The Sandstorm! The Psychic Surge just pop out, so no fake outs allowed. But this is one of the reasons I did not bring that in Cinema in, because obviously Ndidi is probably going to be the lead. I'm surprised you didn't go with that competitive. That competitive there. Okay, so. How are we going to rock out here? Do I set up the Tailwind? I gotta set up the Tailwind, right? Overdrive's not bad. Sludge Wave's not that bad at all, so it could poison. And this is just big echoes. Bum, 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 bum. Mm, do we go into this? We could drop this. I could protect as well. I think I might protect and actually go into a, uh, a Tailwind. And then potentially swap out and boost my attack. We could do that. Let's do that. Let's go here, Tailwind. And then maybe go into my Clink Clank and get rolling with that. And then we just have big special attack. We'll be... Protected for this turn, which is used. I wonder what he's going to go for. 
What is Ndidi gonna go for? That's my question. Ndidi's not going for a follow me or anything. We'll see. Ndidi goes for a psychic. Bop, we get the blocks. He's showing me the double block. You gotta be going for a rock side or stone edge, right? Rock side comes out here. We'll block that one up. But show me it misses my Ndidi. That could be huge. That could be honestly huge. All right, yo, let's Dynamax. Let's get going with this. This could be good. This could be good for us. We have that Flygon in the back. We're chilling. We're chilling here. Let's go fight. Let's Dynamax here. G-Max Sunshock. And we can potentially get a Paralyze or a, uh, another thing on it. Do I go after Ndidi? I mean, if you want to go for Follow Me, that's fine. I'll just go into that. And then I'm going to go into the Clink Clank and get that plus and minus roll. And so look at this ability. Boost the special attack stat of the Pokemon if an ally with the plus and minus ability is also in battle. That's the same thing over here. So let's get it. These two are going to thrive with each other, and then I can eventually go into like a magnetic flux, boost their defense as well, and roll out from there. But yo, this what I love about this team is people aren't expecting this right now. Like this is just so new, and this is like just a new rental team. So people are not expecting this. So they're just, they're just like, yo, what is going on here? Why is he doing so much damage? But when they look further into the team, the abilities show that we're getting that boost and special attack, which is awesome, which is awesome. But there we go. G Max Tox Sushi. I think I only used this maybe once before, maybe twice. I'm not too sure. Once on video, I think. Well, this thing is an absolute beast. He's an absolute beast. Let's see what happens here. Indeed, he's going to go for the follow me. Like I said, that's totally fine. I'm cool with going with that. I don't think this thing has any ground moves. Plus, I'm in the air with an air balloon. The Sunshock's coming out here. Look at that. Guitar slap. Boop. Do some damage. Yeah. Look at that. Bye-bye, Indeed. One tap that thing with that ability boost. That ability boost. And we get the poison over on Titar. That's... I actually would rather have the poison because that thing is already slow enough. We don't really need to slow down speed or anything. Rock Side's gonna pop. Dodge it, Toxtricity. Yes! Yo, he dodges it! Air Balloon stays afloat. Air Balloon does stay afloat here. But we still have our Air Balloon, which is just awesome. We got the Poison on the T-Tar. If he goes Extra Drill here, I might just uh, Magnetic Flux. He cannot hit me with a, what's it called? A Ground Move, because he will outspeed. That's huge. And then, yeah, he goes Extra Drill. Then I can go for that uh, Stun Shock over on the left side to be able to put a Stash Condition over on that Extra Drill. So I could go for this. This has no effect. See, this is what I was talking about with the Steel Mons, but definitely go into this side here. And I'm going to go for a Magnetic Flux here. I'm going to boost. I'm going to boost our Special Defense and Defensive stats here. Because then I can eventually Max Guard, but I can definitely probably see a Dynamax coming out here. You can't take off my Air Balloon. You cannot take off my Air Balloon. You cannot get that Ground Shot on me. You cannot do it, my dude. You can't do it. That's the thing, like I said, x is going to outspeed, so we can't just go straight into a ground move. I have that air balloon. Unless he forgets about it, I would love for him to waste a move like that. I would love for him to waste a move. Because I have, I still have that Whimsicott here, which eventually I can, like, Worry Seed and stuff. And I have that Flygon as well. Not Worry Seed, uh, Fake Tears. Let's see what happens here. T-Tar's going to protect. I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. I hope you go into a, a, a Max Quake. He does? Wait, yo, hold up. That better be going in my Clink Clank. Okay, yeah, I was going to say I was gonna say, that's totally fine. No, no magnetic flux. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. That's whack. We do have that tailwind. We do have the tailwind, but he's still faster. He's still got that speed. Still got that speedy speed. The protect's gonna help him out a little bit here. That's fine. I still have my airborne. I am totally chilling with this. <laughs> Come on, show me we get the paralyze on the extra drill. Show me we get the paralyze on the extra drill. I did like doo doo damage because of that protect. That thing's a little bulky, boy. Come on, show me we get the paralyze on that thing. Let's go. Big paralyze on extra. That is huge. G Max Toxtricity is awesome. He's just awesome. You either get the poisons or the paralyzes. Sometimes it works out better because I wanted the poison on this T Tar. That is huge. Uh, let's go Whimsicott. Uh, let's go Whimsicott here. And um, if I go Whimsicott, I could fake tears. Hmm. How should I do this with the Whimsicott? How should I really do this with the Whimsicott? I would love to protect. Like, he can't hit me again. I'm just going to go into another, uh... I'm going into a Mindstorm. Mindstorm's not bad, but... I mean, let's do anything. We're just gonna go into another Stun Shock here. Just start wasting out his turns. And then I could fake tier up on the... Uh, T-Tar, or I could double into him. I mean, what other Pokemon do we think he's holding in that back end? Best bet would be just double up into the T-Tar. Just in case this doesn't kill, we're just gonna double into this side right here. Let's see what happens here. Because he can't protect. We go into the Moon Blast. We're just doubling into this thing, making sure it dies. So we can say bye bye to the Titar. We'll get another Sunshock shot off of it. Ooh, a crit! A crit, baby! Seems rocking out. And there goes his weakness policy, but like I said, it's totally fine. Toxicity will go first. And I don't see his extra drill just dropping me in one shot. Look at that. The Paralyze coming up big. He cannot. He, I still have my Air Balloon. 
I still have my air balloon, so we're just rocking out here. I did not think this toxicity could come up this big in this battle, because like I said, he has all the steel, he has the ground and all that, but we're rocking out playing this really, really well. Goes for the quake, yo, we got the air balloon. Does not affect us, he's just wasting his turns. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I think he was gonna try to get that, uh, that what's it called off? The rock slide, but we just dumped the T-Tar. The Tailwind's gone, I'll set it up this turn once again. Which is totally fine, I feel like we're, we're looking good here. He has the Raladon, which is uh, rather scary. I mean, I might as well... What should I do with it? What should I do with it? I don't have that ability boosted anymore. Because uh, the abilities... Are, the Klinkhank's not here. Klinkhank's dead. Mm, do I just protect and have him uh, come after me and waste turns? I think that's the play. Set up the Tailwind. Yeah, let's go for the Tailwind here. I'm just going to protect. Have this thing just start wasting turns. Hopefully he doubles into me. Thinking that his... Uh, his Duraldon goes first. And then we just block it, and then he goes for, like, a quake again. <laughs> that could be huge. Let's see what happens. Flash cannon. Now we go with the tailwind. Hold up. Let's see. I'm hoping that happens. I'm hoping that happens, guys. Let's see. Flash cannon. No steel spike going into Whimsy. The Whimsy's gone. That's totally fine. We got the tailwind up. So now it's Flygon coming out here. We still have a turn with our with our Toxtricity. Well, Toxtricity can't really do too, too much. He's going to boost his defense, but we're special uh, attacking here. And I do have a ground move. I'm stabbed ground with my... Uh, with my Flygon, which is absolutely huge. And we got Levitate, so you cannot hit us with a ground move. Draco Meteor gets blocked, so you gotta go, dude. You gotta go. I'm not too worried about that Exhydra. More so the, uh... More so the, the Raladon, for sure. Because he has the Dragon move, so... I said we go into it. We're gonna drop this out. I do have Air Balloon, so he, he still cannot get hit. He still cannot get hit by ground moves. Like, we had this Air Balloon this whole time. We've been playing this so good with him. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, like, th these aren't even the Pokemon we should be bringing in here, but we're still rocking out pretty strong with this. I could go for an Overdrive. I could if I really wanted to. Stored Power. <laughs> I, I could Sludge Wave. Sludge Wave had totally no effect. I'd rather just go for this Overdrive. Just to do a little bit of damage to have the round on. Then EP over on him. Yeah, let's go here. Let's go Earth Power over on him. Try to pick up the KO. We are Life Orb. He does not protect. That is huge. Come on, show me we do big old damage. Yep, see you later. See you later. Let's go. Let's go. I wonder what this extra drill is really going to do here. I really do wonder what this extra drill is going to do. Life Orb does big damage. Overdrive comes out. Does not affect him. Though it's kind of just down here. High horsepower. Yo, we're levitated. Yo, let's go. You cannot hit us with ground moves. You can't do it. He can't do it. This guy doesn't know. This guy doesn't know. Oh, we are sitting pretty. I can't. This is just not very effective. I got to go into this to at least do a little bit of damage. Then I'm going to just go for an EP and kind of end this match. Yo, GG, match one is in the bag. Looking beautiful. G-Max Toxtricity rocks out even in a match where he shouldn't be able to do nothing. He doesn't get touched. We keep air balloon the whole time. He puts on the paralyzes and poisons and takes out this sandstorm team. Let's go, baby. GG, match one in the bag. Let's hop into battle number two and try to go 2-0 to start off this video. So for this next match, we're going up against a Life Orb Braviary team. This looks similar to a team that I used a couple videos ago. So he has the Draco Fish, the Whimsicott, he's got the Ndidi Ninetales. I, didn't, I haven't used an Alolan Ninetales. My team did not have Alolan Ninetales. And he also has Incineroar as well. So do I just go straight Toxtricity here with Clink Clank in the front? I could roll out with that eventually Ally Switch or just Dynamax turn 1 and see where that takes us. I feel like this is a solid team to actually do that. Or I could set up the Tailwind. Like Tailwind's going to be huge for us. So, I could go here, protect, and then eventually get Clink Clank up in here. I get the Tailwind rolling. I'm thinking that works. I'm thinking that works pretty well. Then I go Clink Clank in the back. And then do I go Flygon again? The team's looking pretty good. Like, I really do like Flygon here in this situation. But the Tailwind just looks so good. Flygon or Incineroar. I think uh, Flygon could work a little bit better with all those coverage moves. And they don't have too many physical attackers, except for with that... Uh, well, he has a Draco Fish in the other one, but still, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Once I get this Tailwind set up, I feel like my Toxtricity can definitely roll out and do a lot of work. But, yo, look at my trainer card. Look at Spiffy, guys. I know a lot of people have been saying, yo, Jeans, you got to change your trainer card. But what a lot of people do not know, especially the newer viewers, is this is like kind of like a little running joke I got on the channel. It's just like, I don't change my trainer card because so many people tell me to change it. So I'm just like, nah, yo, we keeping it OG, baby. But he goes here. He goes into these two, which... Hmm. How should I actually do this? How should I actually do this? Um, I definitely want to set up a Tailwind. He might taunt me, to be honest with you. I say he taunts me. I'm going to say he taunts me, and I'm going to protect here. I'm going to say the Whimsicott taunts me, and he doesn't go into a Tailwind. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Does he taunt my, my, uh, 
Thank you. He does, yeah. Let's go. The reeds. The reeds are too good. The reeds are too good right now. We're going to go into a moon blast anyway. Yeah, let's go. Big place for your boy. Big place for your boy. That is awesome. Bigger fish going to go for a fish's run, and we block it up. Oh, my lord. Your boy is just on the ball today. He's on the ball. Let's go moon blast, and then we could swap here if I really want to. But who would I swap into? Maybe him? Because you know he's coming after me again. Or do I Dynamax? Hmm. I could Dynamax and just go for a straight ooze on the right side. Is that what I do? There's no way he one-taps me, right? I mean, there's st that, that just poses a big threat. I say we go into the Clink Clank here. Let's go Clink Clank here and just finish off this Draco Fish. But yeah, I can't I can't afford to lose him like that. Like that easily, you know? I'm going to swap out into Clink Clank. I'm going to take his Draco Fish out with that. Tailwind's going to set up from him. My Moon Blast is going to be able to take out this Draco Fish. My Clink Clank should be able to eat up a Fish's around here. Let's see. Eat up, buddy. He does with his sash. He's with his sash. So that was more so the play there. And Moonblast is going to pop out here. We'll be able to take out the Draco Fish. So Draco Fish gone. Get him out of here. Get gone, kid. And I think Flygon's going to have to be our Dynamax Mon of choice. I think that, that, that might be what's happening. Ooh. Ooh. Rough news. Rough news. But still, we get the Draco Fish out the way and we still have our Toxicity. So not, not too bad, but I cannot really use him with the Clink Clank like I wanted to. Like I really wanted him to. But he goes Alone and Nine Tails here. I wonder what he's going to do here. It's Snow Warning. Probably going to set up an Aurora Bell. Okay. That's fair. And that, that buff is just gonna, going to take me out. Which, um, maybe I should just go for it. Hmm. I can't Tailwind. Or I'm still taunted, right? I'm still taunted, right? So they're going to double up into me. But I might as well just get a hit off before I do pop off with my Clink Clank. Because, yeah, we're still taunted. We got one more turn in the taunt. We'll probably taunt me next turn and just try to keep this up. I'm just going to go for a Moon Blast over on the Nine Tails. Deal some damage. And I could go for a Flash Cannon. Or I could roll a Trick Room. I could roll a Trick Room. If I really wanted to. Because there's no way he hits me. So I could definitely roll a Trick Room. Because how many turns does he have left? I don't even want to check. We're going to roll a Trick Room. We're going to play the Trick Room card. He's probably got the speed your Pokemon with the Tailwind especially. And Moon Blast comes there. There's no way you hit my Clink Clank. You hit my Clink Clank, bro. You hit my Clink Clank. Get off me. Get off me. He does hit my Clink Clank. That's totally fine. I seriously thought he was just going to let the hail stick it out. He's going to set up an Aurora Veil. That's cool. I'm cool with it. Okay, okay. But now the real question is, he's going to taunt next turn. We already know that's happening, so I might as well just keep uh, throwing damage around. And might as well just keep throwing damage around. And the Buffet does take off the Sash, so I could go for an Ooze. But I'd rather go for a G-Max Stun Shot. Do I go into Toxicity? Do I Dynamax this thing? I think I do. I really do think I do. We're going to go in here. I could just start fake tiering left and right. That could be a play. And get the Nine Tails out the way. Yeah, I'm going to fake tier the Nine Tails. And I'm just going to dump on it. I'm going to say Nine Nine to it. <laughs> I mean, what happens if he taunts me? I mean, if he taunts me, that's just a waste of his turn. Right? Or I just throw the Moon Blast predicting the taunt again. No, we're just going to go for this. I'm going to go for the G-Max Sunshot. Let's go. He's probably taunting again, to be honest, but if he lets me get this off, that's totally fine by me. Because we already have his big Draco fish gone. He probably, I'm thinking maybe he has the Milo tick in the back. Like, who who else would he have? Or the Bravey already just tailing in the end. Just coming in clutch for the end. We got this thing popping off here, so I'm going to hope to land this. I would rather get paralyzed here. I think I'd rather get paralyzed here more than poisons. Let's just see what happens. He's going to go for a taunt, probably. Yeah, okay. He taunt. That's totally fine by me. I know I should have Moonblast it. I just knew I should have threw another moon blast. They can't cannot fake here. Blizzard comes out here. Whimscott eats up. Actually, Buffett's gonna take out Whimscott. But my air balloon pops and my G Max Sunshot comes out, which is dope. Yeah, yeah. Get to those status conditions. And how much damage are you gonna do? Not bad damage for a roar veil. In a roar veil, that's huge. And show me paralyzes. Paralyze on the Whimscott, that's good. And an extra paralyze. I'll take a poison for the nine tails, to be honest. Because the poison can eventually just take that thing out. Scott goes down. It comes down to our Flygon and my Toxtricity. So, match isn't looking too bad here. It's not looking bad because Wimscott is paralyzed. I can take out Wimscott next turn and boost special attack as well. And I have Rock Slide, so Rock Slide can just take out. I wish I had Protect. That is something I do wish I had on here because the ice is... Ooh, ah! Might just one-tap me. Ooh! That is scary. That is scary. 
I did I do wish I had protect. The rock slide's gonna have to pop here. And then I think I just ooze over here. Let's see what happens. Ooh, this is scary. This is terrifying. Mmm. Fly gun. Fly gun will not outspeed. Unless Tailwind petered out. Tailwind might have petered out. Maybe this thing's paralyzed and he doesn't go. <laughs> I'm just worried about that blizzard. That blizzard's scary. If I can avoid that, we got this game in the bag. But I feel like we have this game still, even if you take out my fly gun. It's gonna be close. It's gonna come down to the wire. It really is gonna come down to the wire. But say he takes out my fly gun, my toxicity will take out the whimsicott, and the nine tails will go down to the poison. We're fine with that. I'm just gonna protect. Oh, you smart little biscuit. Smart little biscuit. And he goes into a blizzard. Eat this up, fly gun. Fly gun does not eat up. Ooh. That's tough news. Critical hit on my fly gun. Oh, dude, that's so whack. That's so whack. But like I said, I, match might not be over just yet. I just think ooze comes out. How much damage are we going to do to the ooze? We're going to get this uh, boost up as well. We're going to do a little bit of damage here. And what's called should go out to the poison. Nine tails should be able to go out to the poison. Not a war of keeping him up. And he still has his Dynamax. Here, it really depends what Pokemon he has. It really depends what Pokemon he does have. So Ninetales should go down this poison, right? Yeah, Ninetales is gone. If it's the Bravey Ari, I feel like we lost this one. But if it's anybody else, I feel like we're chilling. But he's going to Dynamax. Tailwind's gone, so you know he's going to go into a Tailwind here. I just have to go into a Stun Shock. The Bravey Ari. Ooh. Ooh, that one hurts. That one hurts. Right, right in the chest, man. Um, Did we say he protects? Hmm. I mean, only way is uh, if he protects, right? Or do you... Because he's going to take us out one shot. So I say he protects. I don't know, man. He's outspeeding us. He's going to set up another Tailwind. I should have actually just went after the Braviary. Well, Braviary is going to outspeed me regardless. That's what's... The, oh, it's so tough. That Trick Room would have came up clutch if they wouldn't have touched me up. Okay, okay. So Braviary... Hmm. I should just went after Raviari. Hopefully this thing's paralyzed at least. Or something happens so it cannot roll out in Tailwind. Let's get the Tailwind. You paralyzed has been doing jack nothing for me. Like, bruh. And then the airstream's gonna come out here. Oh, you have Rockfall? Oh, the phone. All right, so Rockfall's gonna call a game. GG, baby. Nope, actually not. We should have took out the Braviari. I am so dumb. How dumb am I? I think I could have won that game. Unless we get a paralyze, slow this thing down on him. So, wait, hold up. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's... Slow that thing down. Slow that thing down. Slow it down. Give me a paralyze. Give me a paralyze. Give me a paralyze. Mmm. Ah. Uh. Blah, 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 blah. Bruh. Yo, we could have won this game. I'm so dumb. We could have won this game. Why did I hit the Braviari? I was hoping he was going to guard. Dang, man. We could have won this game. Right? Unless say what's it called would have took me out of moon blast. But I feel like I would have outsped that thing because he's paralyzed. Oh my god, that is so whack. Guess we'll go for an overdrive. Oh man, dude, we could have won. I'm so mad. Yo. Mmm. I know everyone in the comment section, everyone's gonna be like, yo, dude, you should have just hit the brave yard. Yeah, I know I should have hit that brave yard. We would have won. But I'm dumb. I thought he was gonna go for the max guard. But GG to this guy. We got one and one right now. We're going to hop into battle number three and try to get that winning record with this team. Going up against a cool non-meta team for a third and final battle. He has the Lapras, the Venusaur, Fallings. You never really see Fallings. He's more of like a singles Pokemon. The Togekiss, Darmantan, and Dracofish. I think I'm going to lead Incineroar and Toxtricity. I can always protect my Toxtricity. Bring Clink Clank in the back to eventually swap out. I really don't think we need the Tailwind. Do I need the Tailwind? That's the question. Do I really need the Tailwind? Hmm. I could get the free tailwind and then oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Let's go. Sorry, Incineroar. Uh let's go here. The one just got clink clank in the back. And then do I go Incineroar here? We could he could trigger weakness policy. He could, he could do it. Or Flygon. Flygon's just so good. I gotta go Flygon with that life orb. I really do like this team right here. I feel like Incineroar and uh Milotic only come in, in certain situations. But I really do like these these four core Pokemon. I feel like I use them for most of these battles. I might have switched it up once or I don't even know. I don't even know. I, I can't even remember. But third final battle. I'm gonna let me know for question of the day, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna start asking question of the day towards the end of the video, so it lets me know who's watching, who sticks around to the end. Let me know for question of the day. Who's your favorite off meta Pokemon? Right now, mine's been Flygon. Like Flygon, I feel like he's so underrated, but he's such a cool Pokemon. But he goes Falling turn one, so I can definitely see a follow me. I think I just G Max Stun Shock this thing, right? 
right? I mean, who could he swap into that could uh, be fine with that? Not, not too many, not too many. So let's go with Dynamax. But where do I go Ooze? I could go Ooze, but I'd rather get this Stun Shock off and go out in there. I'm, I'm going to throw this this way. He doesn't do that, and I'm just gonna go tailwind and, and just go this way. So I think follow me in a the retreat move, whatever it is, or he just dynamics. Does the toe kiss? That'd be cool if it was a token kiss. Like, I'm cool with it. But maybe I should just swap. Maybe I should just swap. But I feel like we can eat, get off this tailwind. Okay, it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh it is a toe kiss. I wonder what the falling system is. Bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. But once we get this tailwind up, I, we should be able to outspeed both these guys. Man, I should have just went after the toga kiss. I thought he was going to follow me, maybe full retreat or something. Or is that what it's called? Full retreat? Or no, it's called no retreat. Boost up his stats and then Dynamax him from there. But yo, G Max Toxtricity coming out here. This guy's bold. This guy's being very, very bold. He's got to be super lucky. He's going to get like a monster crit. Or it could be weakness policy. That could be it. That could be a thing. Let's see what happens here. We go into the tailwind. Speed up our mons. Yes, sir. Then we go into the stun shock. What can we get on them? I'm hoping we get the paralyzers. I think paralyzers are going to be better for us. And we go, boop. See you later, punk. Just knock out that falling into one shot, dude. This G-Max toxicity is huge. And we get that paralyze over on the Tokus, which is awesome. Which is awesome. And I'm going to bring in Clink Clank next turn to get that boost. He's going to go into an airstream. Boost his speed, but it's already lowered. Yes, go after my Whimsicott. I'm cool with it. I'm, I'm done with her. I'm done with the Whimsicott. We're getting Clink Clank up here to get the plus minus ability boosted. If I go into a magnetic flux... I can definitely just dump on that, uh, yeah, what's it called? That toe kiss, to be honest. But it really depends who he brings out. I think we're looking like, good. We're looking good. We're looking good. g max toxicity coming in clutch here. But yeah, Clean Clank's coming in here, boosting our stats. I could go for a Magnetic Flux. I kind of want to. He goes into Pest Krigon, whoever that is. That's you. That's totally fine. Um, I think we go into a Stun Shock here. There you go here, and we go into the Magnetic Flux. Or do I ally switch? So we go into the ally switch. Did we do go. Did I did I hit ally switch? No, I hit magnetic flux. That's that is exactly what I wanted. We'll go into ally switch next turn, and we'll get this defense and special defense boost, which is huge both ways. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is how I kind of want to play this team here. Stun shock's gonna come out here. Probably just KO this uh this tokus, and then we'll get a nice little thing on the what's it called. We'll get a status condition over on the Draco fish. Poison. That's fine by me. I'll take the poison on him. Even though I want the paralyze, but actually we don't need to paralyze. We just showed off that we outspeed them both, which is awesome. And then he's gonna go for a fishish right here, and I'll ally switch next turn, or I go for another magnetic flux, whatever I really want to do. Psychic fangs instead. That's cool, bro. Yo, we eat. That's a tasty snack. Tasty snack. We had the liquor fingers after that one. Let's go, baby. What does this dude want? He doesn't want the smoke. He can't handle it. He can't handle this off meta team. This team is so much fun. He goes flamp BB and blah, 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 however you pronounce it in that language. And you know what? I'm gonna just say GG night night and I'm gonna slap up on this thing. Watch this. Let me let me let me do a quick swap a root because you know who he's going for. Oh, this yeah yo, yo clink clank coming in here. We got the defensive boost. I can actually defend. I should have maybe defense boost to get again. But still, I'm gonna just take this thing out. Hit it with a guitar. Yeah. Boop. See you later, yo. We once have been left and right with these abilities. Get out of here. Get him out of here. Oh my lord. He's gonna go into psychic fangs. We'll eat that one up. Look at that. Good little ally switch. And the poison's gonna be ticking away, yo. GG to this guy. GG, baby. Alright, Clinkak did show that he is faster, so we'll go Magnetic Flux, and then we'll just store power out. And that's game over. That's game over. The Magnetic Flux for the boost and store power. To say see you later see you later because i'll be four plus stats and i'll boost it to like 80 or 100 so no it starts at 20 he just can't the battle it doesn't even matter it doesn't even matter yo two and one with this team should have went three you know if we hit that braviary <laughs> this team is going to be so strong right now considering nobody really knows what it is that you haven't seen this on the ladder nobody has it's clean clank with plus toxicity with minus just boost and attack boost defensive stats with magnetic flux and just dominate it out but guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.